Nick Deneen joins us on Panthers TV with Jeremiah's Chimney Systems. And Nick, you've been on the ice with your new teammates today. How are you feeling? Uh, good. It was uh, nice to get back into it and uh, get going and, you know, meet everyone um, with all this, with all the, uh, with the COVID program going on. It was nice to just step away from that and uh, get to be on the ice with everyone. Then getting back on the ice, preparing for games, it's, it's, it must seem like a bit of a return to normality to an extent. Yeah. Um, after this season in Norway, I mean, we've been just practicing since January 7th. Um, yeah, so it's nice to actually have some games to look forward to. And uh, being with a new team is always exciting. So uh, I'm, I'm very excited about uh, this tournament. And then you mentioned the Norwegian League shutting down. A lot of players from that league have come over to play in this tournament now. So you you like there's two of your teammates on the Panthers, and there's a lot of players you've played against another team. So you must be excited about the standard that this is going to be. Yeah, yeah. I, just seeing all the quality players that have not just from the Norwegian league, but all over, uh, it's really exciting, and uh, I think it's going to be a really good tournament. And obviously, it's just a five week tournament, but. Does having two of your teammates in Austin Cangalosi and Brendan Ellis help you settle a little bit quicker? Yeah. Uh, anytime you can do new things with some old people, I think it helps. Uh, me and Ellie have been together for four years, so it's it's nice to do this with him. We're good friends. And uh, me and Austin have played together for two, so it, it's, it's really fun to be able to share this experience with those guys. Now, when the opportunity to play in this tournament came around and the director of hockey, Gidu, said got in touch with you, did it intrigue you right away or did you have to think about it a little bit? Uh, it was intriguing. Even before uh, I talked to Guy, it, it was something that I was interested in. Uh, I have two kids in Norway, so that was going to be the most difficult part for me is deciding whether I can spend five weeks apart from them and my wife. Uh, but she was on board and she was very helpful and. Uh, me making the decision to come. Now, when you look at this tournament, there's not a lot of other hockey going up around Europe at the minute. There's been a lot of eyes on this tournament. So there's a lot of pressure on people to play well, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think going into the World Championships, I think everyone wants to be, you know, have some good hockey being played. And uh, like you said, there's not a lot of hockey going on. So um, there'll be a lot of eyes on this. So it's, I think it's a good opportunity for a lot of players to show what they can do. And obviously there's going to be no fans in the stands. and I'm not sure what it was like in Norway, but how do you think that's going to be? Uh, there was no fans for most of the games that we played. So I don't think that'll be a huge adjustment for the guys coming from Norway. And then obviously you're going to start this whole tournament with a game against Sheffield, who are the Panthers' biggest rivals. And that would normally be played in front of 7,500 people in the building that you've been training in. Do you think that there's still going to be that intensity on the ice when the teams meet without the fans? There? Yeah, I'm, a lot of guys haven't played in a year. So I think guys are going to be excited to get back on the ice and and play someone who's not your teammate. Um, so I, I think there'll be a lot of intensity still. Um, obviously, with the crowd, maybe there'll be a little bit more. But I, I think with the layoff that we've had, guys are really itching to, to play some games. And you're also going to be seeing a lot of each other on the ice with the, the schedule as compact as it is. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll that'll be interesting. Uh, it's almost like a playoff series, but you throw two other teams in there uh, along with it. So it, it'll be a lot of fun. And then if you had to give us a bit of a scouting report on yourself, what would the scouting report on Nick Deneen be? Uh, good two-way center, works hard. Uh strong on the walls, an offensive zone and a defensive zone. Um, usually pretty good on face-offs and uh, I can contribute offensively. Well, I know there are a lot of people excited to see you put on that Panthers jersey when the tournament starts in earnest. So thanks for joining us, Nick. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me.